Hi, this is Ty Davis with GitLab. Today to talk to you about how we're going to integrate Atlassian Jira with GitLab using Jira's code tab. So let's get right into it and see how we can have visibility from the issues you create inside of Atlassian to your commits, your branches, and your merge requests within GitLab, bringing that into the Jira code tab. So here we are in our project inside of Jira. This is Health Guider. Provider Incorporated, we'll see something similarly in GitLab. Um, here, I'm gonna go over to the code tab on the left of uh, the panel inside of Jira. Uh, if you don't have visibility into this, you can go into project settings and um, take a look at the code tab here and can and enable that. So if I go back to my project, go to code tab, this is where now I'm going to uh, set up that integration between Jira and GitLab. Here's the start page and with one click I can connect to GitLab. Technically two clicks here and I'm connected to uh, GitLab. What it's going to do, it's going to pull up the GitLab app on the Atlassian Marketplace. I'm going to go ahead and get that now. And it's going to begin adding GitLab.com for Jira Cloud. Uh, to my healthcare provider uh, project here. Now I can get started with that. So here's where you're going to connect a GitLab namespace to Jira so you have that integration set up. So if I go to add a namespace, this is where I'll see several different options that I can link. A namespace is going to be on if uh, you're at GitLab.com, you'll see here that this namespace is in the URL. What this is showing is that it's pulling the, the parent level group and then there's some subgroups underneath. In this particular case, you can see that I have demos, GitLab Agile Demo, and then Healthcare Provider Incorporated. There's some subgroups under here. Uh, if you want to get real specific to a project, in this case right here, if we look at 501c3 billing, that's the last project that's part of the subgroup billing, hospital, and healthcare provider incorporated. And you could be uh, set up that integration uh, specific to a GitLab project. In my case, I want to set this up to a parent group um, that will reflect on all of the subgroups and projects that fall within Healthcare Provider Incorporated. So I'm going to go ahead and link that here. And now I've successfully linked that namespace. So from here is where, uh, if I go back to my project inside of Jira, I can see I have a couple different issues. Um, let's look at as a user, I want to integrate GitLab and Jira together. Currently, uh, I see there's you know some information here on the right side, but nothing uh, that's specific to um, nothing that's specific to the commit or the merge request or the branch that's associated with this issue. If I'm a developer and I began working on that, and that's why we're setting up this integration between GitLab and Jira. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go over to GitLab. And that's where we're going to begin our work uh, on making that change of, you know, as a user, I want to integrate GitLab and Jira together. Let's say this was a user story and um, work from there. So I'm over in GitLab in my repository, and I'm going to make a quick change to a file within that repo. I'm going to use GitLab's web IDE. You could use your, your own IDE, but in this case, I'm going to use uh, GitLab's web IDE built into the tool. I'm going to add, just make a quick change, uh, insignificant. Um, and this is where now, uh, as with a commit message, I'm going to use smart links and tie that directly back to this user story within Jira. I see that it's HPI-1, so I'm going to add in HPI-1 with a pound sign in front of it and in that commit message I can also use uh, the ability to make a transition so I began working on this so um, I'll put now in progress and with that we'll see that's on the backlog and that it's gonna move this issue to in progress inside of Jira I'll create a new branch um, as well. I will add HPI dash one.
And then from here, I'll commit and it's gonna start a new merge request. And that's where I will also um, use smart links to tie that merge request directly to Jira. So now I see that HPI-1 is now in progress. That's gonna be my title to connect that smart link. I can um, add additional and then go through inside of GitLab and fill out the appropriate information. I'm going to sign that to myself. There's reviewers if it's uh, connected to a milestone, if there's labels associated, um, a couple different things that you could do within GitLab. And I'm going to create that merge request. Then from here, I'm going to go over into Jira. You want to refresh that. I can now see that the transitions moved to in progress. Um, I can see this is a linked issue within Jira. Um, we'll see that there's a commit and a pull request. If I click into these, I can see uh, the commit that's connected to GitLab. This will take me back to GitLab here and show me uh, the diffs there, the changes that were made. Um, same thing for uh, pull requests, known as merge requests inside of GitLab. And then um, once we have pipelines connected and we could see this in another video, you could see deployments. Let's go back to the code tab and see um, how the issue is now connected uh, to that commit and to that pull request. We're back at the Jira code panel and the page. And now you can see that the repositories from GitLab have been pulled in. And because we use the namespace for the group as a whole, we can see the different repos that are connected as part of that group with specific projects. Uh, back in engineering, this is the project that we had uh, correlated the, the merge request in GitLab with the issue here in Jira. You can see a couple different repositories. Now you have Jira code set up and ready to go, having that integration from Jira to GitLab. Thanks.